And he said, I divorce you. That's one. And then the next morning he got up and he said, oh, God, I, I was just lost my temper there. I didn't really mean that. So he takes it back. He can only do that twice. The third time is fun. That's what's known as an irrevocable divorce. After that, this Eda period comes into play because it has to be, if the woman is pregnant, then there are effects of this marriage that still have to be reckoned with according to official Islamic law. That's what the three monthly courses are to see if the, if the uh, woman has uh, stopped having her uh, monthly uh, period time. And uh, uh, so that's what he's talking about there. Uh, line 228, women who are divorced shall wait, keeping them apart, three monthly courses. And they should not conceal. If they're pregnant, it should be known, you know, and uh, so on. And divorce must be pronounced twice, line 229, and then the woman retained an honor or, or release, meaning the third time, it's fine. So you either retain the woman after the second time or the third time, you, you let her go if, if that's how you want to do it. And if he has divorced her, line 230, this is this very odd thing in Islam that people uh, are, are you know, puzzled about to this day. She's not lawful to you unless she weds another husband. Then if he divorces her, you can remarry her. But that, a lot of people try to do tricks and have a paper marriage to another person and then bring the woman back. Uh, the official Islamic jurist said, this is what maybe is going on in Iraq today, the fight between Islamic law and modern secular law, uh, and it mainly has to do with uh, personal status, woman's rights, woman's position, uh, marriage, divorce. I mean, is it right that a, per that a man can just say, I divorce you, bam, and you're divorced? Modern uh, jurists would say, no, this is not right, and this is not giving equal status to Can a woman say that? No, woman can. There's no right to say that at all. Uh, no way that a woman is not allowed to say anything like that. And, uh, um, a woman can claim through judicial, there are judicial separations that a judge, a cadi, can do, but those have to do with things like if a person has got, you know, no testicles or something like that, if she can prove that the person is like, uh, you know, can't perform his, uh, his, uh, whatever your husband supposed to do, I'm not into this kind of thing, or has some communicative disease like leprosy or something. Uh, she can maybe go to the Qadi and get a judicial separation, but she can't pronounce the separation. Uh, or if a person has been killed in a battlefield and uh, the death is unknown after a certain amount of years, she can go and get a judicial ruling on it. In other words, if a person is missing in action, those things can be done, but no, woman has no right. Now, of course, the modern jurists want to upgrade this. <laughs> they realize that this is are not uh, uh, the same thing with a man having uh, uh, multiple wives. You know, Muhammad in the Quran has ten wives. He said, but what's right for me isn't right for other Muslims. I can do what I want, but you can't. He, I think at that point he's beginning to get a little bit, um, a little bit uh, over the top, shall we say. Uh, you know, uh, most people wouldn't think that uh, the prophet, Muslims don't question this, but non-Muslims outsiders would say, well, you know, up to now, I'm, I can, I, I'm with you, but well, uh, since I mentioned, I'll read you a passage if I can find it where he says about you're not to talk to his wives, and to talk to them because uh, and, you know, if you want to talk to them, talk to them from behind a curtain or something like that, but don't talk to them directly. If I can find this, uh, I don't probably not able to find it so quickly. I usually have these things marked, but. Um, oh, here's, here it is. This is uh, Surah 33 of the clans, where there were some questions about, um, he took his son, and, he took his, his freedman's wife, line 37, his freedman was called Zaid, and he, 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 she didn't like being married to him, so uh, he, 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 he let her divorce his freedman, and then he married her. But you're not supposed to. She was an, he was like an adopted son, so uh, you're not supposed to take your son's wife. So when Zayda performed the necessary formality in 37 of divorce, we gave her unto you, that is Muhammad, in marriage. So there's no sin for believers in respect of wives of their adopted sons when the latter performed the necessary form formality. So there was some question there. 
and line 50, O oh, prophet, we have made lawful unto you your wives, <coughs> whom you have paid their dowries, and whom your right hand possesses of those whom Allah has given thee as spoils of war, and daughters of your uncle on your father's side, and so on and so forth, the forbidden decrees. Um, so you would be in line 50, free from land. Now this gets very wordy. You see 50 is like, um, 33 line 50 is around five sentences long. Now it's hard to put this into poetry. You can defer them whom you will. This is the later period. And receive unto